Hello, my Mystic Tribe. Welcome to another unboxing. Oh my gosh, I've been, this is another deck that I've been waiting on, I've been wanting for a long time. <clears throat> I first saw this advertised on Facebook and I know for at least a good three months or so, I've been wanting this particular tarot deck. They have some Oracle decks, they have different versions, different color schemes. But I went with this one. This is the from the Threads of Fate, the Weaver Tarot. And I have not looked at the cards yet. You're going to see them for the first time along with me. Okay? I do want to get their Oracle deck, but these are expensive decks. This deck is $80. Yep, yeah, you heard me right. $80 I paid for this particular deck. Their Oracle decks are just as expensive. So eventually I'm going to get a matching Oracle as well. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go through this deck. And before I do, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I release new videos, when I have giveaways, shout outs to my winners, and, um, oh, and when I do my live free readings on Wednesday nights. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through this deck. I'm going to use this deck in my next daily reading. And I may be using this deck for my free reading Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so very very sturdy box but i don't honestly i'm bad i don't usually keep the boxes because they take up so much room they did include a sample of one of their oracle cards the patience card so that's some sort of message to me i think personally that they included the patience card now this is the guidebook the guidebook is very thorough um, I have, I will be going through this. Uh, I know that they changed some things, some of the, uh, major arcana cards had changed. Uh, let me see. An example would be. The anchor, instead of the emperor, it's called the anchor. Okay, structure, stability, leadership. Um, the, um, the empress is the pillar. The high priestess is the high sage. And the magician is the magi was the full. You know, there's some of the major arcanas that did change names. Okay. Um, the deck interview. Um, I may even do this, whether I'll do it now or in a future video, maybe the next video. I'm not sure. We'll see how, how long this video takes. But we have the Lunar Weaver. Um, full or New Moon. Wow. Okay. So they got a couple spreads in here. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna do the deck interview. And we, we're still kind of under the influence of the full moon. I may even do that one. Um, but let's get into the cards. So we have an information card here. <clears throat> The information card has like basic key words for the aces through the kings. But they, it looks like they changed the names of the court cards. The seeker is the page. The conqueror is the knight. The sovereign is the queen. The ruler is the king. And it gives some information about the different elements. Um, oh, these, these must be page index of where to find information. 
Up here is some other information. Very, very, it's like, up here is like symbols, what seeds mean, or what the roots mean, what bones mean, or thorns mean, okay? So it's, it does give some meaning of some symbolism. I like that, you know, um, especially when you, if you're into learning about symbols. Okay, the, this is the back of the decks. This is another, I don't know what it is. I always seem to pick out these big, hefty decks. I can see this being really fun to shuffle. Well, we're going to find that out very soon as well. Anyhow, this is the, these are the backs of the decks. Gorgeous. Okay. Then, okay. This is the full. I do not see this as a beginner deck. Um, the Magi or the Magician. And they, they have like the sheen to them, if you can see that. Beautiful. And gold gilding. And even the edges are gold. Are gold. The High Sage or the, aka the High Priestess. The Pillar also known as the Empress. See, they're, they're all symbolism. The anchor or the emperor. See, and I don't know if you can see this, but they all have like mountains and different things, scenery in the background as well. Um, here is the Hierophant. Again, it looks like churches or something in the background. It's kind of hard to see from this distance because of the color shifting to, to the cards. The lovers. The chariot. These are just, these are beautiful cards. Strength. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. I love this Justice card. <clears throat> okay, this is called the Hanged One. You know how they, in most decks, it's the Hanged Man. This is the Hanged One. It's called. It's a rose that's hung upside down. Death. Temperance. Definitely not traditional imagery. I like that. Then we have the devil card. The tower. The star. There's clouds in the background of this one of the star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. That was the majors. Okay, I'm going to make this easier on my hands. Okay, with the wands. Ace, two, three, four, five,
six, seven, eight. These almost remind me of Pip to a point. They're not actual scenery, scene scenes, you know, you know what I mean? This is the nine. Ten. Seeker. The Conqueror. Sovereign. And the Ruler. Okay, cups, ace, two. I know they're kind of hard to see. Three. It's just the way that the colors shift on this. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to go with traditional names to say a seeker, conqueror. So we got the page, knight. Queen, King, Swords, Ace, Two, Three. Now, this one's like really dark. I don't know if you could get the image in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Page. Knight. Queen. King. There's supposed to be reversals with this, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that one. Okay, and the last suit we have are the coins. They call them coins instead of pentacles. Ace. Two. I like this two. Very well represented. Three. I like this one too. Four. Five. And these are so hard to see with the, with the gilding. But six. I like the six here. Uh, uh, screams balance. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Page. Queen. Oh, page. That this was a. Uh, I'm not page. I'm um, knight. Queen. Page. Knight. 
queen and the king. Now, my first thought is this is not a deck for beginners. I mean, not saying that it can't be used for beginners, but it definitely has this feel of, you know, with all the symbolism, unless somebody went by keywords like Richard Knight's method and totally ignore the symbols and everything, just the name of the card, then yes, this can be used for beginner students. Wow, this deck is hard to shuffle. The cards are super stiff. Very heavy card stock. Um, my other thoughts is, the, I mean, they're gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. I love the gold gilding um, on the images. However, you know, as seen, like for video, they're really hard to see. Um... Definitely gonna have to figure out some kind of shuffling method. Gonna take some breaking in here. Really hard on the hands. But the card stock is high, high quality. Anyhow, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I do wanna do that deck interview that is in the God book here. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna shuffle off camera a little bit and then I'll be right back and we'll do the deck interview. Okay, I've more or less shuffled up as thoroughly as I possibly could. Um, you know, shuffling into two piles and cutting those two piles in half and switching parts around and really, <clears throat> I think I got a good shuffle. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the deck interview. And the first card is for the death to introduce itself. So we ask, um, the weaver threads of faith, the weaver tarot, please introduce yourself. This is not gonna be a, jump, a jumping deck right off the bat, I can see that. This seems like a more gentler deck, we'll see. Okay, we have the Sovereign of Swords. In other words, the Queen of Swords. So this deck is introducing, and I'm feeling feminine energy. Let me tell you that right now. This is feminine energy. And she's coming up as the Queen of Swords. Okay, now, with that said, you know, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's no nonsense, right? She is somebody who gets straight to the point. Um, she doesn't play games. And she tells the truth. She is about truth, okay? And in this deck, you know, it's, she's no different. She's coming up and saying she's very independent. She is independent and unlike any other deck is what I am being shown with this card. Okay, she speaks the truth. She's very independent. Very, she's very, very strong energy. And very intelligent and wise. And um, she, like I said, she's about truth. And she's good. She's so that's what she said. She is the Queen of Swords. That's who she says she is. Okay, the next card is going to be what her strengths are. So let's see what comes up about her strengths. What are your strengths? I love to get you to jump. She's just not ready to jump. Okay. Here we go. Ace of Swords. 
very swordsy like energy, intelligence, clarity, truth. Okay, strength is the ace of swords, and the a and so she is saying that you know again we, we get truth right truth honesty very powerful and so her strength is about she's able to communicate her messages very clearly and with truth and honesty and the next card out will be what are her limitations okay so this is usually a tough one for you know anybody any deck to answer but we will see what are her limitations what's your limitations please Oh, okay. This one actually kind of jumped a little bit. The Fool. Wow. Her limitations are the Fool. Okay. I mean, <laughs> claiming innocence. Um, she's not very good at that. Um, and it feels like... Curiosity, you know, she, about taking risks. She, she has a hard time. I feel like hard time having fun. A hard time acting. She, she doesn't have it in her to act foolishly. Is what I'm being, um, what I'm seeing here. So that's what I'm getting. She has a hard time deal a hard time dealing with foolishness. This seems to be like a very serious deck is what I'm getting. So that's wow. That speaks volumes there. And the next card will be um, what does she want to teach me? So let's see. What might have to move you out a little bit what okay what do you want to teach me okay this card was trying to flip out seeker of swords the seeker of swords page of swords you know i feel this is about you know i think being honest with teaching me to be honest with myself teaching me to be very mindful it's kind of funny there's all these swords that want to come out and they've come from different parts of the deck i shuffled this you know um and i feel like it's about taking action and want to teach me to use my knowledge and my intellect my knowledge of the tarot not relying on book meanings, which I don't, but you know, a more intellectual, intellectual approach. In she, they want to teach me to invoke my curiosity. Um, tapping into my intelligence sorry about that I had somebody come to the door anyhow it was saying it had to teach me about truth about tapping into the intellect tapping into the mind and drawing upon my knowledge okay the next position is how can I best honor you? 
okay? So we're going we're gonna to need to ask, how can I best honor you? The Ace of Cups through love. Can't say it better myself. Love and compassion and trusting in my intuition. <clears throat> and lastly, we have, what would you like our relationship to be like? What would you like our relationship to be like? Seven of Swords. Okay. That one, <clears throat> I would say, you know, sevens are about potential and growth. Okay. And, ch and challenge each other, maybe. A um, lot of Swords energy with this. So this a lot of... Um, You know, <clears throat> Seven of Swords is something that I don't quite understand how, what they mean by the Seven of Swords. So I see the Seven of Swords as deception. Um, love, honor, and no deception maybe. I'm going to ask for clarification on the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. I was hoping one would jump. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Here we go. We got a jumper. Thank you. <clears throat> the Hierophant. Ah, yeah, no deception, being honest, and being committed and having faith. Just have faith. Having faith in this deck. So there we have it. The interview with the deck and the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Love you all. Bye.